Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we're in College Station. And if you're a fan of the show, at this point you're probably wondering to yourself, something doesn't seem right here. You see, normally we intro our Bite of the Week segment from the location, the restaurant, the eatery we're at to kind of feature what it looks like from the outside so you have an idea what to look for when you get there. Well, the funny thing is, right now, we're at the restaurant we're featuring. It's just that you see it each and every week on the Texas Bucket List. Come with me. We're off a well-burned road at a bar called Hullabaloo, but it's more than a bar. This is just the bar area where we shoot the show. Right outside the bar area is this incredible patio to kind of sit and drink a nice cold Texas beer on a spring day. And you got to make your way this way to get to the diner. And this diner is extremely cool. A lot of history here and some incredibly good food because this is where we do the Texas bucket list. And this is Hullabaloo Diner. When it comes to life in Aggieland, Texas A&M is a hot topic in this part of Texas. But so is the cuisine in College Station thanks to a booming population in BCS. Fortunately, the food at Hullabaloo's is a hot spot for college kids and the fine folks who frolic around Brazos County. It's phenomenal. Very good, very delicious. You get the quality and quantity and it's experience out here. Rich Risbon and his wife Sydney, his daughter-in-law Natalie, and his pet parrot Turkey. Hello. Lead the charge at this little diner that we've been coming to for a long time considering we've been shooting our show here since 2013. Remember the first one I ever did in there? I think so. It, you look back on it and it's yeah. horrible. Yeah. One man band, yeah, yeah. no <laughs> lights. Well, I might have had one light. Yeah, I think you did. I think you had one. <laughs> Time to hit the road. Thanks for watching. The intros have come a long way on the Texas bucket. Yeah. <laughs> the best part of frequently filming at Hullabaloo's, getting a chance to grub on some great food. Since 2005, they've been serving up delicious diner delicacies from the diner they found on the internet. You found a diner car on eBay. On eBay, yes. What was your high bid? I don't remember, it wasn't much though. <laughs> it cost 10 times that to get it here. The bargain of eBay right yes. here. I'll give you $5. I think it was a little more than that. After shipping it down from New York, the diner got an overdue overhaul. We left the original countertop. Stools are all original. That's the original tile work on the footrest because that you can't match that same color anymore. Yeah, hard to find the salmon pink. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now you'll find all sorts of offerings from homemade pie, ridiculously sized Rubens, and pork rinds with a punch. I'm a happier in a pig and mud right now. Being from Philly, Rich knew the menu had to include one more thing. Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Being a guy from Philly, this must be the place to get a Philly. It is the place to get a Philly. Even our rolls come from Philadelphia. So we actually got the meat from Philadelphia too. So Very neat. You're getting the Amorosa roll, which is baked in Philadelphia, and you're getting the Philly meat straight from Philadelphia. So it's a Philly steak sandwich original, you know, just a few thousand miles away. Now food from a faraway place known as the Northeast might have been a hard sell at first, but it didn't take long for folks to take notice. What? turn the tide. Probably Food Network showing up. We ended up being on the second one, which was the fine. The second <laughs> episode of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Wow. They came here, the second place they ever filmed. We thought it wasn't real. I mean, we'd only been in business about six months. Yeah. If it's good enough for some guy named Guy, I'm looking forward to getting a taste. But we're going to try a new offering, and it sounds like something we can't refuse. The Roman combo. Bada bing. We have a Roman sausage sandwich and we had a Philly cheesesteak. Rich started combining them out of, you know, boredom and <laughs> we always, we're always looking for things to do and like things, new things to eat because we see that they, you know, same stuff all the time. Sydney got started with a sausage. So we uh, slice it to get the meat out of the casing? Yeah, we're going to take it out of the casing. Okay. Well, it's always, it's always a pretty thing. Yeah. That we're going to stick under a weight and help it cook a little quicker. Just smoosh it. Now the sausages, they come out of Chicago. They do. Oh, some veggies, some onions. All right, now to the Philly steak. From Philadelphia, I'm told. Yeah. That is some sliced thin ribeye. How long does that take to cook, 60 seconds? Not long, yeah, <laughs> pretty quick. <laughs> oh, now we start mixing. Oh, just right on top. Woo! Get out of here. Just straight on that bun. Would you say that's a little cheesy? A little bit, a little yeah, bit. Good little bit. So that's the Philly Roman combo. Philly Roman combo. Let's knock it out. All right, order Ooh. up my Rocky reference. Time to step into the ring. A serious sandwich for a serious appetite. Mm. 
one of the best I've had. The first thing you get right off that bat is the Italian sausage, an incredible spicy flavor, followed by the Philly cheesesteak and the cheese on that. Throw in some grilled onions and you got a great sandwich. Sausage has got a, a, a bit of a kick to it, but not too bad. Woo, that's so that, that Italian sausage is so good. I want to put that on pasta. I want to put it in lasagna. I want to see it on everything. All right, so what in a spicy sausage? Spice, a little bit of kick. A sandwich fit for an emperor. We make good food, man. I mean, we do. The Philly Roman combo, an incredible stop at the Hullabaloo Diner in College Station. Even the mayor of Flavortown approves, and it's well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list.